Good morning, friends. How are you? It's Julie Hamilton with Life Builders, bringing you simple tips to build a strong and healthy life on. It's me in the raw, in the real, like after leg day, I'm exhausted. <laughs> it totally kicked my butt, but I said uh, this morning I did 235 squats, but don't be impressed because I was the last one in the class to finish. So, I mean, I'm happy I finished, but still. Hey, good morning, Christy. Great to see you. I hope you guys are doing great. Last Monday, I was telling you guys about my year, but I my, my car was being towed, remember, so I had to come early. Well, it was in the shop, and then now, mysteriously, my air conditioner in my car is not working, so I had to take it to the shop again this morning. But hey, you know what I'm learning is to appreciate the things. Like, I always took for granted the fact that when I press that button, that cold air comes out, and it's so nice and fresh, but it's like... There's somebody out there who, A, doesn't have an air conditioner. Right? We were talking, as a matter of fact, at Pete's, I said, oh, my, something, my air conditioner's broken, I'm going to get it fixed. And the gal said, oh, I know what you mean. I don't have an air conditioner, so I have to roll down all the windows, and it's 90 degrees. And then, then, but I was thinking, like, there's somebody out there who's like, well, I have to ride my bicycle, and it's 90 degrees. And there's somebody out there who's like, I don't have a bike. I have to walk, and it's 90 degrees, and I have to walk to work or whatever. It's like... You know, it should teach us to be grateful for all the things that we have. And so, anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. That's how my day is going. Um, but <laughs> I'm here. So, anyway, today I wanted to talk about how small daily efforts create a massive impact. And I saw recently saw this story, and I thought it was such a great example um, that I'm going to tell you today. Now, we have in our family two kinds of gardeners. Um, there's me, and I like to plant plants that are already plants, you know, like the kind that you buy at the store that have like a tomato seedling, and they're, they're like this tall, like in the four-inch pot. I like to plant those kind of plants. Now, Libby thinks that I'm cheating because she likes to plant seeds, and she insists that true gardening is when you plant seeds, and then you grow them from seeds, but oh my gosh, it takes forever, you guys, to grow seeds. And so, like, now we've been in watering it every day and stuff, and there's still no sprouts from the seeds, and it feels like it's taking forever. And so Livy was like, oh, we planted those months ago. It's been so long, and how long has it been? So I decided to go back and check, and I found out the date we planted them was actually April 20th. Today is May 21st, I think. Uh, is it 21st or 22nd? I don't know. But anyway, it's a little over that. Good morning, Patty. It's a little over a month. It's only been 30 days, and there's no sprouts, but it's taking forever. But can you imagine, every single day, you go out, what if you did this? What if you went out and you planted some seeds? You go back to home. You go back the second day. You plant some more seeds. You're, you are not seeing any growth from those first seeds. Go back home. Third day, you come out, you plant seeds, and, you know, there's no growth. I mean, how long does it take to grow a tree from a seed? Of course, obviously, it depends on the on the trees. But, you know, you're seeing, like, little tiny growth. Maybe one day you see a little sprout coming out. But how long could you be passionate about creating something by doing a small thing every day, like planting seeds? And the story recently came out. And I just want you to listen really carefully because I, I think it has a lot of significance. In India, and in the northwest part of India, there's a dry and barren land, and the animals were actually dying. This man um, saw, he's called the forest man now. He has a real name, but I can't pronounce it. So the forest man, I'm going to call him. Um, but he saw that the animals were dying because there was no trees. There's a lot of erosion going on in his home, and like a whole island is eroding. And so this man decided that he was gonna make a difference. So he started going out every day and planting seeds every single day. He planted seeds every single day. Well, right now it's been 37 years, actually it's 38 now, 38 years since he started planting seeds every single day. And do you know what has happened? He has created a forest, this amazing forest. Now, if you've ever been to Central Park, you know how big Central Park is, right? So out of this dry and barren land, he's creating this forest. It's full of life. But if you've been to Central Park, you know how big it is. And I really know this because the last time we were there, <laughs> Damien had to go to the bathroom really bad. And we were like kind of in the middle, like not close to anything. <laughs> so we were like running, like run walking, like really 
fast to try to get to a bathroom somewhere. And I won't go into all the details about that, but we actually finally made it over to the boathouse, you know, where that fountain of Bethesda is. And, um, but anyway, Central Park is huge. Like, I don't know how long we were like run walking to the bathroom, but it was a really long time. And the park, I've never even been, I mean, we've been there for hours and never even been to the full Northern part. It's huge. I mean, huge. But this guy has now planted a forest that is two times the size of Central Park. It's over a thousand, I think, over a thousand acres of forest in this dry and dusty barren land. And do you know what has happened because of that? It's giving life to creatures. Now there's tigers that live in this forest. There's deers that live in this forest. There's birds that live in this forest. People come to photograph the wildlife there. And here's the amazing thing. 115 elephants now make this forest their home for part of the year while they're migrating. And it is also helping to reduce the erosion of the land. And so I just wanted to put that in your heart, in your mind today, that planting those little seeds, whether it's planting the seeds of being financially responsible, planting the seeds of growing up your children to be amazing people, planting the seeds of disciplining yourself to get your body healthy or your diet healthy for your body, um, disciplining yourself in the words that you say and the thoughts that you have that you let occupy your mind, those daily little increments, like even this guy planting seeds, I mean, he must not have seen progress for years, but now, look, he's been doing it for almost 40 years, and there's so much life coming out of it, and I just want to share that with you today, that whatever you're doing, whatever little seeds you're planting today, and you're working on it, you're not seeing any fruit from it, you're just putting those seeds in the dry and barren ground, and you're hoping by believing by faith that they're going to make a difference, you keep going because the, the tiny steps that you do each day make massive results and they have big change just like this guy. He's made a big change in his area and your little things are going to make big change in your life and you won't even see it like step by step. You'll be like, you know, maybe you're at the gym and you're doing a little bit longer every day or a little bit heavier every day. And then all of a sudden you're like, wow, I can really do this thing that I didn't think I could do. Or 40 years later, your kids grow up to be like amazing people and they're affecting the whole entire world because of those seeds that you sowed into them. So anyway, keep sowing the seeds, guys. Keep going because you're doing amazing things. Don't get discouraged when you're not seeing any fruit because it's the small changes that make life amazing. So you guys are amazing. I totally believe in you. And I'm just praying this week you're going to have an awesome week full of grace. You're going to have a week full of rest. You're going to have a week full of creativity like you've never had in a long time. You're going to have a good week, relationships restored. I'm just asking for those things and um, all the good things coming your way. So I just bless your week today and hope you have a great one. And may your minds be fierce and your heart strong and your spirit very kind today. Thank you for tuning in. I love you. Bye. Keep sewing.